This prescription drug increases the risk of Alzheimer's disease by 40%. I know that sounds really big and it's really scary, and so I'm so glad you're watching. I'm gonna tell you exactly what's going on here. So there are drugs that block a certain neurotransmitter in our brains. It's, the transmitter's called acetylcholine, acetylcholine. And acetylcholine is involved in memory, specifically in your hippocampus. That's the memory center of your brain. And when drugs block acetylcholine, it it greatly increases the risk of Alzheimer's disease. And what this study found was that people who took drugs that block acetylcholine for more than six months, that increased the risk of Alzheimer's disease by 40%. Let me say that again. Those who took drugs that blocked acetylcholine for six months, they had a 40% increased risk of Alzheimer's disease. And this makes a lot of sense because drugs that increase acetylcholine have shown to reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. So here's what to do. Uh, ask your doctor or look, or look them up and see what drugs you're taking and see if any of them interact with acetylcholine and what the interaction is. Do they increase or decrease? And if they affect acetylcholine, if they decrease acetylcholine, go to your medical doctor or your, or your neurologist and ask if there's something else that you can take that will not negatively affect acetylcholine and therefore not negatively affect your memory and increase your risk of Alzheimer's disease. Some of these drugs are drugs for incontinence and drugs for tremors. So um, check, check to see what if any of your drugs interact with acetylcholine and then ask your medical doctor if there's something else that you can take. If you want to increase acetylcholine and therefore uh, increase memory, I like to take a supplement called Alpha GPC. Alpha GPC it is a precursor to acetylcholine. So basically your brain takes Alpha GPC and uses it to make more acetylcholine. And the research shows that about 90% of Americans are deficient in choline, which is the precursor to acetylcholine. And that's from Bill Bryson's book, The Body. So most of us are deficient in choline. You can get choline in egg yolks. Uh, or, or liver, for example, those are two choline-rich foods. And I take alpha-GPC to make sure that I get enough acetylcholine and I eat lots of egg yolks. So in summary, the drugs that reduce acetylcholine increase the risk of Alzheimer's disease. So you wanna see if you're taking any of those drugs and then ask if there are drugs that you can take that don't do that. And if you wanna increase your acetylcholine, you can take choline precursors like alpha-GPC or eat egg yolks, uh, don't cook them too much, or um, uh, eat, eat liver, and those things will increase choline and therefore increase your body's ability to make acetylcholine. I hope this was helpful to you. If you would like more long-form content from me, please click the link above and subscribe to my YouTube station. Please post questions below. Uh, if, you're if you are one of the few people who are going to take action on this video, please write that you're taking action. Write what you're going to do, and um, and then please please message other people. Tell them about this. This is a real big risk. A lot of people are taking these drugs, and it's hurting their brain. And most medical doctors and a lot of neurologists don't know about the dangers these drugs pose to the memory. So um, please, if you're going to take action, please write that below so you can serve as a model for others. And if you have questions, please post those below as well. Have a wonderful evening and God bless you.